All right, guys, uh, I have a new garden update here. This video is going to be kind of short, actually. You can see here, if you're looking through the door, I'm not even going to open it up this time. There's not too much I want to show you or really talk about. Uh, it's pretty much what you saw last time, just everything's a little bigger. If I go over the top here, you can see my tomato plants are uh, actually growing quite well. This one over here on the end is even towering way above the, uh, the top of my fence, but the problem is that uh, I'm not getting very many tomatoes. Uh, I think it's just the season, the, the ground's been just so wet. I mean, for plants to really thrive, they need uh, an equal amount of sun, water, and air. And it's had plenty of water. <laughs> I've been getting ridiculous rain up here in the northeast. Um, you know, and it's had sun, and uh, there's been sunny days. The problem is it doesn't have a whole lot of air. The ground is just, it's, it's not getting a chance to, uh, to dry up. You know, I mean, the, the rain comes down, it pours, the ground gets wet. And then when it should be drying out and the plant's getting oxygen to the roots, uh, it's not. It's raining again. So I'm getting plenty of flowers. Let me zoom in a little over here. You see plenty of flowers. And those flowers will turn into tomatoes if the conditions are right. But the conditions are, I don't know, kind of poor. But if I come around here and show you, there's just, uh, like I said, you can see it's growing fine. The actual growth is fine on these, but, uh, you know, it's just not any tomatoes coming out. I had a couple that I just ate right off the uh, the vine there. They're, they were actually very good, very sweet. There's just not a lot of them. Now if I come down and show you, zoom in a little, see I got a bell pepper growing. If I can find it, there it is. Kind of small, but hey, it's got to start somewhere, right? But the reason uh, I wanted to make this video was actually to show you my pole beans. And I got to come around to do that. Come around the side here. They're actually doing pretty well. Here's my... Whoop. Here's the kind of vine coming up, and if I lift this up, you can see I got a bean, pole bean, or a string bean. Uh, you probably most most people probably call them string beans. Maybe down south they call them pole beans, but here's a pretty pretty big one. I would say that's probably five inches. Uh, come up the second leaf here. You can see a smaller one. I come up. Here's a here's a big old one. So these are actually thriving. They're they're doing very well. Uh, I got plenty more flowers. I mean, these are going to be beans, you know, as they grow. But I wanted to uh, just show you this here. Um, I like a lot of different vegetables raw, but I have to say string beans or pole beans are probably my favorite vegetable raw right off the plant. They're just very, very sweet. I just really, really like them a lot. I mean, I like a bunch of different things. Like I said, the tomatoes are great right off the vine. Um, carrots just dug up and washed off are good. Uh, you know, broccoli, fresh broccoli is good raw. But um, I just, there's something about these pole beans. Now these are Kentucky Blue. Let me pick this one off. Let me pop that off there. Let me eat this right out here on camera because it's just it's so good. Let me kind of, give me a second here and let me adjust my, I'm actually holding my tripod. If I can do kind of a survival man style. Give me just a second here. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Alright, so I got my pole bean. You saw me pick it right off the plant? Let's give it a try. Oh. I'm not even kidding. It's really, really good. I mean, it's not like a juicy cheeseburger or anything, but it is delicious for a vegetable. Mm. And you want to throw away the stem. Wow. That was really, really good. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, my garden is kind of, eh, not doing so great this year. But uh, I got a couple, couple pole beans that are doing fantastic. So, anyway, thanks again for your time, guys. I always appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.